Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 8 of the Monogatari series off and Monsters. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It is like hella loud. I would still say it's a curse. Oh, they gave her the go to the park. Oh, that's so sweet. But you're not gonna have a chance though. Every time you try, you die. <laughs> She's so pretty. Uh, okay. I probably whatever chance you give her, she's still gonna look beautiful. She looks like what's her face from Idol Master. Jesus Christ, girl. Thank 
Excuse me. Okay, then what were you planning to do? You don't want to be a pirate. You look pretty with both of your eyes. That she does, honestly. You'll get it. You know, if we had a counter, it would be a lot. <laughs> You're really going to question her?
Jesus Christ, what the hell did I do to my leg? And then she'll be alone again. But it is though. She didn't know. Well, she knows. Mm hmm. Right.
She knows. Of course she have her own light, pure as I don't know what. Yep.
look so fucking pretty. Like, ah. Bad bitch. <laughs> She will definitely be surprised to see her. But like, hey, yo, what the hell you been doing these last couple of years? Yes, I've heard some rumors here and there. But what the absolute F happened to you? Can you imagine how long that story would be? First, she got a story from 600 years ago. Mind you, she has to start from when she left her all the way up to now. But like, well, yeah, you know, Master, I did meet my prince. Yeah, he's a little... Goofy. Very goofy. Yes, but you know, he's everything I want. <laughs> you know what? In a way, I'm just going to say this. We, whoever is our prince and or princess, and they're currently out there just waiting for the day that we meet them as well. Yeah, they're probably goofy as fuck. My, my God, he, he's out there for me. And the day I meet his ass, I don't know how it's going to go. Because you have, like, um, you have your so many different sides. You have your sweet side, your cool side, your silly, goofy side, whatever. But, no, Akaragi is really everything Shinobu wants and needs, still needs at this time. But if we are seeing these two this Saturday in our modern day, having conversations and catching up in the next episode, oh, 10 out of 10 episode. Did not think Tropical would have died in this episode and such. I'm thinking, because, like, I think, okay, no, 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 because of the fact is what, they, for one night only, they had the movie come back, and I wanted to go see it, but I had to work. <laughs> I had to fucking work. Um, and plus, it wasn't playing anywhere. It wasn't playing at either of the two movie theaters that are near me, unfortunately, even though one movie theater, really, no, not even one, both movie theaters are playing a whole bunch of anime films, but you didn't want to play any Monogatari. <laughs> okay, mm-hmm, yeah, um, but like I said, yeah, no, no movie theater near me was playing it, so I was like, well, fuck it, like, goddamn. <laughs> 
But no, yeah, tro- the tropical death like took me out for a moment because I'm thinking like, okay, he's a vampire as well. He could definitely survive this. That's how like what's her face from True Blood like. First she was a human, then she was a vampire, then for some weird way reason that I really don't remember, she got turned back into a human, and then they finally kill her off in the last episode of the previous season before the last season, and you're, you know, you're waiting a whole year to figure out if she's alive or dead, you get to the first episode of the new season of the last season, and you find out her character is dead, and you're like... I spent that whole time waiting for nothing. And, and see, that's how, that's also like how I currently feel. Well, from this video essay that I watched last night <laughs> before I went to bed. Um, I haven't watched season two of House of the Dragon, but from what a lot of people have been talking about, um, with this show, it, it was iffy. <laughs> that's all I'll say about that. Long ass video essay was talking about every little detail about season two, and I was like, oh, okay, well. I don't really need to watch it. I'll just say the show ended at season one and season one only. Sometimes it's like that. But no, 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 no. I, I'm really hoping next week that these two eventually do see each other again so that they can catch up. I think that would be really nice for both Shinobu and her master and such. <laughs> but I wonder how that is going to go. <laughs> There's probably going to be like some lectures because her master essentially is her parent and such in a way she's been taking care of her for the longest time but no can we talk about how beautiful everything looked how be like my whole this girl she know fucking disney princess at the beginning of this turned into a damn killer like i, I mean I, I love that the art once again so your shaft is like glorious with a ish like they took that ish and they fucking ran with it. And I love it. Like, ooh. Good ass meal. Yum, 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 yum in my face. Yes. <laughs> but no, really much enjoyed this episode. I, I Once again, love the gothic appeal of it. I love the fact, like, I was taken out about it for a moment. I, I loved how in the end for quote-unquote symbolism because we're transforming from or transitioning from her being a regular normal girl yes having this curse where everybody looks at her and instantly dies and transforming into this beautiful vampire the symbolism of the castle also crumbling because it's now done this is the last little thing that both her and master have and then they just fly away. And then now we're going back to modern day. And she's somewhere. And, you know, she's... And she was hanging out with Agaragi. And ish. that was really sweet. Like, oh, God. But damn. Didn't think y'all would go out on an episode. God, episode? Hey, damn. Okay. Y'all do what y'all gotta do. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction review to this episode 8 of the Monogatari series of and Monster Season. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Saturday for episode 9. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.